Ooh. Rough game. Rough game. Uh, Packers lose this one big time on a primetime game. Uh, I'm exhausted, by the way. <laughs> I didn't watch any games this morning, this afternoon. I got up to watch this game and uh, complete opposite of last week. I I do have to say a few things. Um, the de I feel like the defense is still there. Um, but you can't have... You can't have the quarterback of your defense, Mike Daniels, go down. You can't lose your number one wide receiver to, to, to a hamstring. It, it really puts everything in a hole and changes game plans in an instant. Um, other than that... Um, better team was Atlanta um, getting really tired of playing Atlanta in Atlanta uh, I just really feel like maybe down the road somewhere we can get healthy enough to get these guys all healthy to play I mean that's what I feel like really keyed on in the Seattle game last week we had everybody healthy for that game so you know Mike Daniels has a game of career defining game against Seattle and then he's out the the next two tackles he makes in this game I think he had a hamstring injury going into this game um but yeah it, it just we have no answer for Julio Jones if everybody's not on the field and it shows um other than that though I, I really was still impressed uh how we came back um we also also we didn't have Brian Balaga we didn't have uh, David Bakhtiari, um, it, that stuff hurts, stuff hurts, I mean, you're only as good, I've seen Steven, Steven Rose say it better than anybody on here, on YouTube, is, is, you are basically at the mercy of your injuries, you are, you, you are at the, you're only as good as your injuries, you know, really take you, because when you lose Randall Cobb, Nelson, Mike Daniels, uh, I think Kentrell Bryce went out. I mean, these little tiny injuries, and plus not starting two of your offensive sta offensive tackles. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get a sloppy game like this. Um, other than that, though, they did respond. I feel like better than the last game. I mean, it wasn't really out of hand. Um, we still we need to find a way to get to Julio Jones and shut him down. I mean, he, otherwise, he, he's just... He's better than Calvin Johnson. You know? He, he just is. We, we can't... We can't stop this guy. You know, if his man coverage... Maybe it's Matt Ryan. You know, Matt, Matt Ryan played really good tonight. Um, but yeah, it's just unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate stuff that comes up. You know, injuries... Injuries to your... Your best uh, defensive lineman... You know, I feel like without Daniels on the field, then then we are on the flip side of our defense. We are not even a top 20, 10 defense. It's a just b above, ab barely above top 20 without Daniels out there. He makes a huge difference. So, other than that, uh, it was a fun game to watch. I, I had fun watching it. I mean, losing kind of puts everything in perspective. Uh, you know, when you, because everybody that goes in this, the week one feels like their team is unde unbeatable, and then, uh, you know, shit like this happens. <laughs> but, um, that was a good game. I had fun watching it, and, uh, Atlanta, you know, it was Atlanta's, um, big opening, big opening game, you know, in the new stadium, so, of course, you know, there there may be even flaws, in, even to uh, understanding what to expect in a, in a new stadium like that. Maybe you know, maybe even Green Bay wasn't even ready to play in there either. They looked like they were not communicating well. Um, there were multiple false starts. Um, I don't know if I caught a delay of game, but there should have been a delay of game call um, in the game that they. I think the refs miss. Oh yeah, by the way, the refs. I mean, there were some really ticky tack calls in this game. <laughs> like, what was it? Oh, go going into the first half, like we there was a huge play. I think Randall Cobb caught or Deontay Adams, one of our slot guys, and then they call Martellus Bennett on a pick play. Come on, stop! 
stop it. That's that's ridiculous. If you want, if you, it was kind of, it kind of felt like, well, maybe that was the dagger in the game because it really would have helped, you know, getting at least some sort of points after we came out and scored a, um, you know, the next field goal in the third quarter. Uh, but you know, it just, it just nothing went our way today. We got injuries. <laughs> Our offensive line was hurt. Our, our QB for the defensive line, Mike Daniels, goes down. And that's it. That's the story. It just comes down to injury sometimes. And uh, that changes everything. I guarantee you, if Devontae Freeman goes down, Julio Jones goes down, Matt Ryan goes down, one of those three big guys on their offense, if one of those guys goes down, it's really going to alter how they run the offense. You know, As great as, as, great as Rodgers is, it's kind of hard to to play with uh, some holes in the line, along with losing guys left and right in the receiving end. So uh, I expect Green Bay to bounce back. Atlanta's a really good team. They're going to be the front runners of the NFC if um, if all goes well. I'm looking at their schedule here. Let's see. They got the they're playing at the Lions. Um, that should be interesting. Lions. I don't really know what to make of the Lions just yet, but so far, I mean first week they look pretty good um as far as us we're playing the Bengals, and the Bengals are in big trouble which means not i don't really like going into games with teams like the Bengals who tend to be desperate they're gonna do anything they're gonna do anything they can to uh win this game because marvin lewis's job is on the line andy dalton's job maybe i mean i'm hearing stories about kaepernick being uh potentially wanting to be sent to the Bengals or signed to the Bengals because players are just there's there's some locker room ten tension in there and uh this is gonna be an interesting game but we're back at Lambeau and we should be able to handle them I mean but again they've had two weeks of just miserable football so they're coming in with a new offensive coordinator we have no idea what they're running I mean on paper like I said we should beat the Bengals but who knows? They, they might get their offense going this week. And and we don't know what the extensions of uh, Jordy Nelson's injury is. Mike Daniels. You know, uh, Randall Cobb. He's got a shoulder. It's it's just all over the place right now. But this is what makes NFL fun, right? <laughs> it's what makes it fun. But um, I expect the Packers to probably bounce back from this. There's no... They shouldn't hang their heads on this, on this loss. Uh... Yeah, just wanted to give my little thoughts here, but I guarantee if Mike Daniels is back, if he gets to play this this game, we'll be back right up in the top ten. We're definitely a top five, top ten defense. I, I really believe in this defense. Um, Atlanta didn't light us up as bad as they did in the playoffs, even more so in the previous game of last year. I, I think drafting all these defensive backs... Um, linebackers, uh, they're 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 helping improve, and they're only gonna get better. These guys are young, but they're gonna get better. So, uh, lot to be optimistic about. Lot to be optimistic about. So, anyways, I've had a long week. I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, let's see what happens next week. I'm excited. I'm excited. Good luck to uh, Atlanta fans and uh, Bengals. We're coming after you in week three of the NFL 2017. Have a good night, guys.